Postseason baseball on the show is in full swing. It's game three of the National League Championship Series between the Chicago Cubs and the Colorado Rockies. Hi again, everyone. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to our special postseason coverage of baseball on the show. With me are Eric Karros and Steve Lyons. And Steve, lots to talk about here as we get ready for Game 3. And when you start the series on the road, obviously, you'd love to win two games. But coming out of there with no worse than a split is what you're really kind of hoping to accomplish. So now, they come home, they've taken back home field advantage, and they can feed on this crowd, hopefully, to give them a big leg up in this series. The postseason is officially in full swing. Lineups and first pitch coming up next. Back now as we draw ever closer to first pitch. Let's listen in to public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now, your 2017 Colorado Rockies. Quickly now, we'll look at the two guys who'll get the ball here in Game 3. With that, a look at the Cubbies' starting lineup. What's this lineup got to do tonight to get a W on the road, Steve? Well, I'll tell you what. This team has their ace on the mound, so it's probably not going to take a whole lot of offense to get a win for them. Now that we have a chance, let's bring in a look at how the Rockies will line up defensively. It's brought to us by Majestic. Eric? Well, Matty, DJ LeMay, who grew up as a shortstop, but he's turned himself into one of the best defensive second basemen in the game. And if you need proof, just watch the constant highlight reel plays and rock solid fundamentals. He's got a gold glove from 2014. That should tell you everything you need to know. First pitch of the night is looked at for ball one as we get underway right at 7.05 on the nose. First pitch, 7.05. Oh. And here's a ball hit in the air. And they can't run it down. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. Another one sent foul. able to protect the plate with two strikes and he'll see another one hit hard up the middle and a base hit so the leadoff man is aboard to open up the ball game. Yeah, a nice job there as this one gets right up the middle to start the ball game. Always nice to put a guy in the stretch right from the very start. Into the box now, Chris Bryant. 
as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. There's a fastball missing down and away for a ball, 1 and 0. And there are our umpires calling balls and strikes is Mr. Earl Hendricks. Well, you don't typically see or hear a lot of complaints about Hendricks' zone, Matt. Pretty fair all the way around. Hit out towards second. Gloved by LeMahieu. Reyes on to first. The double play. Batting third. Well, so much for that leadoff single to start the ball game. Here's a good pitch to the number two hitter, and he gets him to beat it into the ground, and that's an easy double play. Anthony Rizzo will stand in now for the first time, coming off, well, nothing short of a dynamic performance last time out. Well, it makes you wonder how they're going to attack him here in this game. I would bet that they're a lot more cautious with him. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0-1. We're just underway here in Denver. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. And, and you kind of get the sense that he's not really messing around out there too much. There hasn't been a whole lot of setting guys up here in this inning. He's just trying to get himself back into that dugout as fast as he can. Smoked on the ground, left side. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. With some guys, it doesn't matter if it's 0-2 or 2-0. They take the same approach either way. Well, this right here is one of those guys, and he comes through from being down in the count. In now, Kyle Schwarber. As he's first pitch swinging here, and this is on the ground toward the hole. Pro goes to Reyes for the force, and that'll end the inning. Cubs strand one. And now the Rockies will go on offense for the first time. No score. With that, here's a look at the Rockies lineup card for this one. Eric Karos, who you focused on. Yeah, keep an eye on Charlie Blackman. He's coming off a multi-home run game, and we'll try and build off that momentum. We'll see if they try to approach him any differently throughout this game. And with a quick breather here, let's take a look at the Cubs' alignment on defense. It's brought to us by Majestic. E.K., what do you got? Well, guys, when you talk about a position that requires arm strength, right field is one of those. This man... He has arm strength to die for. He could throw it from the wall. He could, he could probably throw it from the darn stands. I hope he gets a chance to show it off in this one. DJ LeMahieu comes to the plate to lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. Hard liner towards short. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. You talk about a guy who really stepped it up all throughout this postseason. Here's your man right here. He's on base again as he leads off the inning with a base hit. Charlie Blackman will stand in, and he was one of the heroes last time out with two big home runs. Boy, he picked a good time for him, too. Here on the big stage in October, the way he was attacking the baseball, he is definitely not lacking for confidence when he's at the plate. Ground ball to second. This could be two. There's one. On to Rizzo, and it's a double play. 
Well, so much for that leadoff base runner here to start off their half of the first. He gets taken care of right away on the easy 4-6-3 double play. Carlos Gonzalez will come on now, and no sooner did it look like they may have something started than the double play took it all away. And that's especially tough when you figure the part of the lineup they're in. These are the guys you want to have hitting with runners on base. Into the windup and the pitch. Sinkers in there. No balls in a strike. You got to figure that that man right there would be more than happy to see this guy at the plate taking his swings with two out and nobody on all night long. <laughs> so would the guy on the mound. The windup and the 0 1. Got him to go after that no one, and he's in a quick two hold, 0 and 2. Boy, when he's got that thing going good, it just takes a nosedive right at the end. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Bases are empty here with two men out. This is pulled into right, and that's going to get down in front of Hayward for a base hit. Now you just that think back good. to that double play Third ball. Baseman. Not for that. No this good. might very well Aaron have been a run. Nolan Arenado set to take his first cuts with a man at first and two away. Yeah, and he's going to have to find a gap to give that man on first a chance to score. He's ready. Here's the first offering. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. And that misses downstairs for a ball, 1 and 1. Smoked on the ground up the middle. And that's through for a hit. A good job here. Stays inside the ball well. Doesn't roll over. And just shoots this ball right back up the middle. Ben Paulson will dig in now. And he's picked the wrong time of year for his bat to go silent. Yeah, just one hit in the series so far for him, and they're going to have to get more out of his bat. But he's got to make sure he doesn't press up there, or that average is going to continue to go south. Trying to escape unscathed here in the first. In there, no balls and a strike. Worth remembering, when you visit this place as a starting pitcher, that breaking ball just does not have the same snap here in the mile high air. You have to be able to adjust or you can definitely get hurt. Ready with the 0-1. Ground ball right side. Zobris has it on to first and the Rockies fail to cash in as that ends the inning. Second inning upcoming here in Denver with no score. Addison Russell will lead things off here as it'll be five, six, and seven due up to kick off the second. Russell. Lyles is ready. First pitch on its way. Second inning starts with a fastball that misses. It's one and oh. And he won't bite at that one either. It's two and oh. Yeah, and he didn't even have to think twice about that one. And now he's got a good hitter's count here, 2-0. and oh. From the windup, the 2-0 pitch. 3-0 and oh now. Now that he's worked it to 3-0, and oh, he's got a couple of free pitches here to pick out one he really likes.
And that misses for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. Well, it seems to me like you've at least got to make him go after something there. I mean, the bat never left his shoulder. That's making it way too easy for a guy leading off the inning. Dexter Fowler gets his first shot here with a man on following the leadoff walk. And you know, guys, we talk about it all the time. Leadoff walks are so dangerous, and we'll see if they can take advantage of this one. And it's the outside corner. It's strike one. And that's what he needed to do after the four-pitch walk. Come right back and get ahead versus the next guy. A runner at first with no outs here. Oh, and he's no really getting he's the right. better of him now. It's strike two. And this is exactly what he does so well. He'll make you so convinced that you're going to see a fastball, and then he's going to go the other way on you. Fastball hey. called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. I think he bounced back okay from the walk. Three Got pitches, seven. and see you later. Second baseman. Ben Stepping into the box, Ben Zobrist. As the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. And you know, guys, he's not quite as successful when he's batting left-handed in general. He tends to have more success from the other side. Hit hard back up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. A little bad luck there defensively. If that's hit at an infielder, it's a double play. But instead, now you're in hot water here with one away. Into the box now, Kyle Hendricks. And the pitcher will indeed try and move his runners as he gets this one down. And you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice works to perfection. And with one out already, I think they were concerned of the possibility of a double play. So they're going to let the pitcher go ahead and put one down right here. Now at least you give your leadoff guy a chance to drive in a couple runs with two outs. Coming to the plate now, Miguel Montero. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Oh, and it's so important to take advantage of these kind of opportunities early in a ball game. It can change the entire complexion of the game if you can put the other guys on their heels right away. Down the first baseline. Two is left, Paulson. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two men left on. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. And we are tied nothing-nothing. Gerardo Parra strides into the Leading box up, now Milwaukee. to lead off the home half Left of the second Hilden. inning. Gerardo Parra. Here's the first pitch to him. And this one's nowhere ball ball, close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. He pulls this one into right. Now a dive in right, but he can't haul it in. And now this is going to be big trouble out there. Around second now, and they still haven't flagged this one down. And he will make it all the way to third now, as that mistake proves a costly one indeed. Well, this is all about risk-reward here. It's spectacular if you get a glove on it. If not, you got to get up off the deck and chase it down. Stepping up to the plate, Jose Reyes. He'll swing it from the left side right here. Sent on the ground out to second. Zobrist is there. On to first, and it sails right by him. And now this ball's going to wind up out of play. And that will compound matters even further. Well, this is a huge mistake here because once this ball gets away and gets out of play, that means the run will be allowed to come home and score. Yeah. 
Standing in now, Dustin Garno. As the first pitch to him is swung oh on and missed for strike one. Oh, and you cannot get caught making up your mind to swing before you even see where the pitch is going to be. I mean, I wasn't even close. The 0 1 pitch. Swing and a line drive, but this is foul near the seats. Swing and a fly ball. On the move is Hayward, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. And they'll put the brakes on at third. Runners at the corners with nobody out. And you know, once you see this ball get down in right center, I was thinking this is a run easy. But that's a nice play to get to it quickly and fire it back in. And that'll wind up forcing that runner to hold on at third base. Stepping in now, Jordan Lyles. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. As a hitter here, you've got to make him get the ball up. You don't go swinging at pitches that are down in the zone and more likely to turn into double play balls. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. One and one. And if he wants to turn things around, that's a pitch that he's going to need to start locating better. Set. Here comes the 1 1. On the ground is short. This could be two. Zobrist on the first, and it's a double play, although the run does come into score from third. Well, you want to get out of the inning without conceding the run, but this is going to be an acceptable trade off for him. No RBI, but the run does come in from third on the double play. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. Takes this the other way to right. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. And now time will be called here as you see the pitching coach making his way out to the mound to pay a quick visit. Charlie Blackman will dig in. 0 for 1 here in this one. First delivery to him on the way. Swing and a miss on a ball inside. 0 and 1. Looks like he employed the slide step on that last pitch. Well, Matt, the pitcher may have thought the runner might be on the move right there, so he slide steps to hang on to him. Hit sharply toward the right side. Hayward will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. I have to imagine there's a full moon tonight, judging by this bunch. Back with more from game three after this. Jason Hayward will dig in here. He singled to open up the ball game. And you know, guys, I just Jason love the way he went the Hayward. other way with that. Now I'm interested to see if he has a similar approach in this at bat. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Lyles looks in. 0-1 oh, on its way. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Yeah, he came with a little bit of a different look that time. This pitch is also in their knee high, and now they've got him behind in the count, 0-2. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Protecting on 0-2, so we'll do it again.
into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Oh, and he's caught looking at a beautiful curveball there as that buckled him for the first out of the inning. Well, the reason he's having the success he's had so far comes down to one main reason. It's changing speeds effectively. And you saw it in evidence right there. That's what you got to do to be a big time pitcher. Chris Bryant will be the batter. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Here comes the first pitch. Fastball in there for a called strike. Bases are empty, one man out. Oh, and a good tight okay. slider there, and he's in command, nothing in two. And if you're going to go after that pitch, you've got to be thinking right field. I think he just pulled off of that one a little. Hit the other way out toward right field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. And with two away now, let's give you a look at what's happening in the American League Championship Series as they've got a good matchup going on over there as well. Anthony Rizzo will dig in. He singled his first time around. into the seats 0 and 1 Here's one that misses high it's 1 and 1 Yeah he's not really getting on top of that curveball right now and that's going to get him into trouble if he keeps leaving it up there like that One and one, here it comes. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Rizzo will head for second. And he'll make it in there with a two-out double. I'll tell you, this guy has been something else in these playoffs. I mean, when it matters most, he's come up aces more times than not. And he delivers once again here with a ringing double. Man, he's fun to watch. Into the box, Kyle Schwarber. And this one gets away. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. Yeah, and then one pitch later, he basically turns that double into a triple as that's going to be ruled a wild pitch. Two outs here with a runner at third. Hit hard down the line. But a foul ball, one and one. Ready with the one one pitch. This is fought off foul over to the right side. It's a ball and a strike. Chop foul at the plate. It'll remain one and two. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. To two balls and two strikes now. Ooh, there's a tough one to take right there on a one and two pitch, especially after fighting off so many pitches leading up to that one. All even at two and two. Here it is. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. A golden opportunity to get on the board. Here goes for naught. We'll have more of game three after this message. Carlos Gonzalez digs into the box Lady in the bottom of inning number three. 
And this is a guy that can make a big change in this game with one swing of the bat because you know he has big time power. And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that one too much, but it's 0-1. Tonight, borderline calls, you got to be swinging. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. And he lays off the curveball. Strike three called. And that's going to be out number one. The batter, number 28, third baseman. Digging Nolan in for his Arenado. second at bat, Nolan Arenado. He reached on a single in his first try. Now a changeup to start him out, but that's looked at down and in for ball one. Top foul right at home plate at strike one. Hot shot toward third. But quick hands over there at third as he takes it for the second out. And that's one of those plays where you might need to reinforce the laces on your glove after this inning ends. This is a fastball, and it is hammered. I mean hammered out there. But he's going to wind up with nothing to show for it. In now, Ben Paulson. Lifted the other way out to left center. Will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down for Colorado. But they hold a 2-0 lead. Addison Russell is ready here as we begin the top of the fourth. Well, they still aren't even on the board yet, so this leadoff guy needs to get on so they can manufacture a run. Lyle steps into his windup. Here's the first pitch. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 and now. Well, not close on either of these first two pitches. He's going to have to find the release point quick before he loses the leadoff guy. Yeah. 2-0 pitch on the way. Too tight with oh, that one. 3-0. and oh. oh, I think you'd be real happy with a leadoff walk. Something just to get things started against this guy. Three and no count. Here it comes. And that's finally over for a strike. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and it's full three and two. And you know what, guys? I have been really impressed so far. Not only has he used his fastball well, but he's also spotted it well. I mean, that is perfect location right on the knees. Line toward the alley in left center. A screaming base hit here, his first of the night. The batter number 24, center fielder Dexter Fowler. Dexter Fowler gets another crack at it now. He took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. Well, you know, it never feels good to go down on strikes, especially looking. You wouldn't be surprised to see him be a little more aggressive in this at-bat. Now a swing and a fly ball. And he pushed it just a bit too much. It'll wind up a foul ball. No runs, five hits. One error for the Cubs to this point.
chop foul over towards the dugout. Trying to strike him out for the second time. And Fowler swings and misses as he's retired for route number one. I love this pitch right here. Just an elevated fastball with two strikes. Nothing much to it. He just says, this is just a good old country fastball. And he runs it right by him. Here's Ben Zobris now. As he gets under the first pitch and sends a fly ball out to left center. Under it is Para, and there are two gone. So with the fly out there coming on the fastball, seems like an appropriate time to check out our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. And to this point, these two have topped out at 95 and 91 miles an hour, respectively. Kyle Hendricks no, is in with two ball. away as he takes a ball, 1-0. Two out with the man at first. And a strike to even the count, 1-1. One and one. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. You know, sometimes when you're thinking fastball, you try to get moving just a little bit early. And that's a good job of recognizing off speed and then holding back on the swing. To two and two now. But this is the thing that's so impressive about this guy. He'll show you that good breaking ball, but then he'll run that fastball up the ladder at 92, 93. Two, two, here it is. Filthy change up that time, but he's able to make contact and he'll get another chance. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Fastball swung on and grounded out towards second. A diving try, but it's through into the outfield. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. How Boy, how about that at-bat from your pitcher? Miguel you Montero. started thinking, this is already a really good at-bat because he's seen so many pitches, but then he caps it off by finishing it with a base hit. Miguel Montero gets a shot here with two on and two out here in the fourth. And a big two-out at-bat right here. You know, it's still early in this game, but you don't want to have to look back on this as a major missed opportunity later on. Now a right-hander has started to get loose in the Colorado bullpen. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. And, you know, whenever he's been in trouble on the mound, he's found a way to turn things around. And that's a good job to start this guy with strike one. Yanked on the ground down the line. It's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. Around third and being waved on home. The run scores from second. It's now a two-to-one ball game. And this is what you need if you're going to build a winning ball club. You've got to have those support guys down in the order. And he comes through with an important two-out RBI. So stepping in, Jason Hayward, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Looking to minimize the damage here. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. And you can bet they'll pitch him carefully with a couple guys on base. Runners at the corners, two men out.
gets a small piece near the plate. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Only one in the inning for the Cubs. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. Colorado's out in front, two to one. Gerardo Parra is set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Gerardo Parra. Back to the mound and off his leg. But he is able to recover as he gets the out at first. One away now. And with that play over now, time to check and see if our man is all right. You can really see him favoring that leg. And that is his plant leg, which is always a concern. But from the way he's acting out there, I think it looks like he's going to be okay to try and continue. Jose Reyes set to try it again at the plate. He reached on an error and then eventually scored last time up. Yeah, still looking for his first hit of the game. So let's see if he can come through with that one right here. In the air to right center and carrying well. Way back there now. And gone. Home run. A solo home run for Jose Reyes. His first homer so far in the series. And it's given the Rockies a 3-1 to one lead. pitcher's got to be thinking how can I throw a pitch like that in this situation that thing was so right down the middle it absolutely got hammered and he knew it as soon as he let go of it. into the box now 13. Dustin Garno Dustin Garno fly ball out toward left center field on the move is Fowler but he's not going to get this one it's into the gap and he'll round it and try for third. And he'll get in there safely. Well, if the home run wasn't exciting enough, how about this? He's going to keep the pressure on here as they're threatening again after the triple. Jordan Lyles will stand in with a golden chance here to help himself out with a runner at third. And he knows this is a definite strikeout situation, so... The big key here is, at the very least, find a pitch you can put in play. From the stretch. Starts him out with a curveball for a strike. Any thought to bring in the infield in here with one away? Still a little early in my book. A run you can live with. What you don't want to do is let this snowball into a big inning. Here comes the 0-1. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0-2. And, and this is what he needs out there right now. He has to find some confidence in those secondary pitches, and that's a good change up there. One out and a runner on third. He got him, and it'll probably take a base hit now to get that runner across from third. Well, you know when you get two strikes on you, you go into that protection nine. mode Second up there at the plate. Line. Let's see where this pitch winds up. Oh, yeah. That thing's nowhere near the strike zone, and that's a good job of making a guy go fishing for something he didn't really want to hit. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew, as he goes after the first pitch and lines one out to a right center. And this is into the gap for his third hit of the night, and it'll be good for extra bases. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead, and it's a 4-1 to game. Well, I got to tell you, I love the way this guy just lets it rip. Ahead in the count, behind in the count, it really doesn't matter to this guy. He's just going to go up, pack it. And he drives in a run right here as he just drills this one for two bases. Cubs have someone working in their bullpen now as a right-hander's begun to get loose. Here's Charlie Blackman now. A little late on this one as it's lifted the other way down the left field line. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. 
So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. On to the top of inning number five we go. It's the Rockies four and the Cubs one. Chris Bryant heads for the box to start off the fifth in this one. Well, they've got some work to do here, but there's still a lot of time left in this game. So just chip away, chip away. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. and The pitch count there. One pitch into his fifth inning of work. Not much of a concern, I wouldn't imagine. Yeah, it shouldn't be. He hasn't had any real overtaxed innings, so he should be fine for the time being. one -oh pitch is a slider. Swung on and missed. 1-1. One and one. Grounder got him. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. And time now to see quite where that got him. And it appeared from up here at least, and his actions on the field confirm it. It looked like it got him on his drive leg, which could be problematic, of course, for him. But from the way he's trying to walk it off, I think he's going to try to continue. Digging in to try it again, Anthony Rizzo. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit up in the zone, and he didn't miss it. He'll be looking for it again right here. Chopped foul right at home plate. Lyles comes set. Here it is on 0-1. Strike two called on the inner half. 0-2 now. Out in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0-2. The 0-2 pitch. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Well, right now, that fastball's been so good. He really hasn't needed any of his secondary pitches. Another good heater there. Standing in now, Kyle Schwarber. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Well, two very good takes here. You can see they're trying to get him to hit something on the ground, but he's going to make them bring something up. One run, eight hits, one error for the Cubs to this point. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and oh. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. Three and one. Here it is. And the count will be full. Swing and a miss, and they come back from a 3-0 count to sit him down on strikes, and there are two gone. Well, so much for being thrown out of rhythm by that leadoff single. Doesn't seem to have affected him one bit. Come back with the two straight strikeouts, and now he's turned things around in this inning. Settling in now, Addison Russell. He singled his last time up.
becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And a fastball is in there for strike one. And this offense has just been stuck in neutral. Even when they get a guy on to start the inning, they've got nothing to go with it. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. Well, no taking now. He's going to have to swing the bat. On his way to pitch number 75. High pop-up. Lyles is there for it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. One left for the Cubs, and this is still a 4-1 ball game. Carlos Gonzalez will stand in now. He's singled and struck out in two trips. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Hit hard on the ground towards second, and it's through for a base hit. They'll have the leadoff man aboard to start the inning. And now another base runner for him to contend with now. And as we bring up his line, you can see that's an even 10 hits against him so far. And you have to wonder how much longer they're going to let him stay out there. Nolan Arenado digs in now after lining out in his last try. Well, he hit it hard. He just kind of got unlucky with the placement. So you can't ask for much more. You just got to try to go up there and barrel it up again. Now, time granted here at the plate as he'll step out of the box. He's set. Here it comes. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. Got to say, they've done a pretty nice job laying off that tough changeup. And I think you have to give some credit to that hitting coach. He's tried to tell him. That pitch is not going to be a strike. You've got to wait and make him bring something up in the zone. Here comes the 1-0. Swung on and hit deep to left center. Schwarber ranging back. And it's gone! So a two-run shot to left center, his first homer here in the series, and it's now a six-to-one ball game. And this is what you expect when you make it to the postseason. I mean, you expect the guys that have carried you all year to keep on producing, and sure enough, he comes through again and delivers a no-doubter here. On his way toward the mound now is skipper Joe Madden. And we're going to see a pitching change as that's going to do it for his starter here tonight. So he'll leave after working just four innings, and this was not the kind of start he was looking for, I'm quite sure. Adam Warren is going to take over here in inning number five as it's going to be up to their bullpen to try and keep him in the game here. Warren. Now Stepping in now, first Ben baseman. Paulson. Ben Paulson. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. And that's about where he'll sit with that fastball, 93, 94. And that's plenty hard enough to blow it by guys when you need to. Toward the gap in right center, this is going to be a base hit, and he may take that big turn at first. The relay, and he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two-base hit. Here's another look at this swing and show motion. Check out the hands getting into good position. The hips start to rotate, and then whack. That's great extension all the way through the ball. That's the perfect swing right there. And now the Cubs' bullpen will start working here as both a lefty and a righty are up. In is Gerardo Parra. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. Yeah, and when that pitch starts off outside, it's much easier to get a better view of it and then just lay off. 
No one out with a runner at second. And that's right there, and we're even at one. Lifted in the air to center. Fowler has it in his tracks, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. The shortstop, number seven, Jose Reyes. Jose Reyes steps in, working on a one for two game so far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Grounded up the first baseline. Rizzo is there. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Well, at the very least, he does move that runner up to third base. But with two away now, I don't think that's exactly what he was hoping to accomplish. I think he wanted to drive him in. Dustin Garneau tripled and scored in his last at-bat. And we'll see how he follows it up here. Yeah, he already got to show off those wheels, so let's see if he can make it happen again in this at-bat. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. Hit well on the ground to first. And a sliding attempt at first, but this sneaks by on the base hit. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. It's now 7-1. to one. The batter, catcher, Jordan Lyles. Jordan Lyles steps in to try and keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single. And that's a nice job right there to drive in the run by the last guy. And it can definitely fire up a team when someone comes through big time with two outs. And he misses inside with that one. Ball one. One and out. The one and O delivery. Two and O. Well, he's just going to go right on taking pitches. You have to throw strikes here with two outs, especially when you've got the pitcher up there. Three runs already home here. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And no one can get there. He'll try it again. Uh, could have been three and one. Instead it's two and two. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. A runner on first with two away. Fastball misses in the one dirt down. as he tried to get him to chase the low one. And now, 3-2, two, two out. He'll be helped by the fact that that runner will get a head start out there. And a fastball swung on and hit to second. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Another good inning for the Rockies, and Blake Street might be beckoning for one or two of this bunch. Back with more from Game 3 after this. Leading off the inning, Dexter Fowler. And they'll need him to get something going here. Dexter Fowler. Lyles gets the sign. Here comes the first pitch. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. Oh. Can't get around quick enough, and that'll move the count to 1-1. One and one.
Here it comes on one and one. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. <laughs> Trying to strike him out for the third time. To the right side, but foul, and he'll try it again. Struck him out as his woes continue as that's his third strikeout of the game. And we'll check out the pitches by inning, and you can the see he's base up base to an even 80 pitches now, so I'd imagine they'll start keeping a little closer tabs on him out there. Ben Zobrist will dig in now. A single and a fly out for him in two trips thus far. And you know, I think he's had a good approach in each of his first two at-bats. He seems to be seeing the ball well and putting some decent swings on it. Seared down the first baseline. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. Yeah, and plenty of hits here so far, but not a lot to show for it in the run column. Maybe this can help turn that around as they get a man on here with just one away. Jorge Soler will be summoned off the bench here as he'll pinch hit with the runner at first and one gone in the inning. And a check swing here, but he clearly went around on a pitch that would have been a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. He's ready. Now the pitch. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. And this is sent out to Reyes. This could be two. The second for one. On the first, it's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. So no runs on one base hit, no errors, and no one left on. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. The Rockies are out in front, 7-1. to one. J.P. Howell will come on now to try and sort this mess out as he'll likely be asked to go at least a few innings here. D.J. LeMayhew will lead things off for Colorado as they look to get something started in their half of the sixth. And guys, this is the guy you want leading off this inning. He's your leadoff man, so maybe he can get things started, set the table for a little bit of a rally. There's a first pitch curveball trying to come back to the outside corner. Didn't get it that time. It's ball one. He wanted to go after that one, but that's a good eye to just watch it all the way in. Well, this will be taken in out there at short, and that's the first out of the inning. Making a bid there for a four-hit ball game. And you kind of figured if they were ever going to get this guy out, it might be on a ball exactly like this one. Here's Charlie Blackman now. Lefty against lefty here as this is taken for a ball. 1-0. and oh. uh, I need to see that again because it looked like he flat missed that call behind the plate. Now a half swing here as he wanted to pull it back, but he does so too late. It's strike one. One out, nobody on. Skied in the air to straightaway left. And this will carry him over that short outfield fence down there for a ground rule double. 
Yeah, he gives this ball a pretty good ride out there. And I don't think he was going to be thinking about three anyway. But you see the ball pop up and over the wall. So he'll stop at second with the ground rule double. Here's cargo Carlos Gonzalez. Oh, and Montero can't squeeze it as it gets away. And the recovery's not going to be in time at third, and that should be ruled a wild pitch. And then just one pitch later, he basically turns a double into a triple. This is going to be scored a wild pitch right here. Now the 0-1. Strike two called on the inner half. 0-2 now. Oh, and I like that he went right back to that curveball there after the check swing. Yeah, he almost got him once. Try it again and see if he can hold off twice. In the dirt and block behind the plate. And he'll rein it in as the count moves to one and two. Hot shot on the ground is short. Gloved by Russell. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Well, this is a pretty hard hit ball. And I thought for a second that he might have had a shot at the plate. But he thinks about it for a second and takes the sure out instead. And that allows that runner to come in and score. Nolan Arenado will stand in again as we flash you back to the middle innings here. This was a big blow, a two-run home run that really got his guys going. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. That look says it all in the third base dugout. That's not the look of a guy who's going to be sleeping well tonight, is it? Swing, and he pops him up over toward foul territory. Rizzo has room in foul territory, and the inning is over. So one run, one hit, no errors, and no one left. On to the seventh now in game three. It's the Rockies eight and the Cubs one. Welcome back to Coors Field here in Denver. On to the seventh now in game three. But before it gets underway, we take a look at our game summary through the first six. Miguel Montero is set to get us started for the late innings of this one. Oh, you're facing a pretty big deficit in this game, so they need to start clawing their way back. Now time is called as both guys in the bullpen are ready to go. David Hale will come in now working with a huge lead, so he'll just look to get some work in here. David Hale. Right there for strike one. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this will get foul for strike two. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. 
And even with the new pitcher in there, I, I think you tip your cap a bit to that starter. I mean, he, he gutted out six tough innings, and he's given his guys a good chance at victory if this bullpen can hold the lead. Coming to the plate now, Jason Hayward. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1 and 0. Mine to the right side. And he's able to reach down and put this one away. Great concentration there for the second out. The minute he hits that, he, he's thinking it's a base hit all the way. But this is one of those situations where you, know, you get penalized for hitting the ball too hard. And this stayed up long enough to find the outfielder's glove out there. Chris Bryant gets another crack right here. He's got a hit in three tries to this point. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. Nothing doing here this half. Stretch time coming up here in Denver. Rockies lead it 8-1. to one. Ben Paulson steps in here. He'll look to keep it going after hitting a double and scoring a run last time up. Yeah, it's been an offensive explosion for him today. And let's see if they can keep it going. First offering on its way. Sinker to open the A-B in there for strike one. And he lays off for ball one. The set and the 1-1 pitch. Hit in the air to left field. Schwarber moves over, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Left fielder number this eight. crowd oohs and ahs every time this guy hits a fly ball, but he didn't get all of that one, and it's pretty much a can of corn. Striding in, Gerardo Parra. He flew out in his last at bat. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. Rips this one to first. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. The shortstop, number seven, Jose Reyes. Jose Reyes. Gets another shot, and if you remember, he hit a round tripper back in the fourth. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. In the dirt. But fortunately here, no advance. Hard hit toward the hole and just passed his outstretched glove into left, the base hit. Now batting, catcher, Justin, Justin Grimm Darno. will come on now in a mop-up role as he'll just try and keep this deficit from growing any larger. 52, Justin Grimm. 
Dustin Garneau will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and one gone. Well, he's already got three hits in this game coming into this at-bat, so we'll see if he can get that fourth now against this new guy. First pitch coming. Here it is. Lays off 1-0. Oh, Oh, pretty healthy one hack one. that time. It's one and one. And he's going to need to crank that swing up another notch if he's going to catch up to those. Runners are at first and second with one away. A oh. little bit outside. Two and one. Two and one, and one thing out. you can't do here, you cannot lose him and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with. But I'd expect this one to be somewhere in the strike zone. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Right. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Mm, a little conviction behind that fastball. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Line toward right center. That's in there. Base hit. Around third and being waved on home. Now the relay home. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. Well, if you want to point fingers at who's to blame for this disaster, you're going to need both hands. And the pitching, the batting, the defense, the execution. Well, just draw a line through this one. This one's been an absolute disaster. David Hale will come on and as he's newly entered into the ball game he'll get his first plate appearance now here in inning number seven. He'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down and the throw will go to second as they get the force out. Kind of lucky to get it out oh, anywhere oh, here. You see the off-balance throw to second base, and it doesn't have a whole lot of zip on it, but they do find a way to get that force. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. Hit hard towards second. He dives and makes a phenomenal catch as he takes away a run for sure, and the side is retired. That's as good a play as you're going to see a second baseman make, and he does it to end the inning. We'll have more of Game 3 after this message. Anthony Rizzo comes to the plate, and he'll start us off in the eighth. Well, you know, he's been on base twice in this one already, so let's see if he can do it again. Rizzo. But there to flag it down is the shortstop, Reyes, and that's out number one. How about it? Left fielder. Well, that graphic there tells you all you need to know about this particular ball game. Nine to one is our score as we draw ever nearer to the end of this one. Kyle Schwarber will stand in now, hoping to get on track as they've been able to neutralize his power out of the cleanup spot. 0 for 3 thus far. Well, guys, it just hasn't been his day. You know, sometimes cleanup hitters That's are sort of all or nothing type hitters. But hey. He's still got a chance to make an impact on this game right now. Bases are empty, one man out. Downstairs, ball, two bad. balls and no strikes. Two really close pitches to kick off this at bat. Normally this guy would be all over him, but he's shown some discipline here with two good takes. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. And you can see him trying to be a little bit more patient here. He's got two strikeouts already, but he's got to be careful not to fall too far behind. Just short, hit hard. Reyes is there in time to first, and there are two away. Now batting. Addison Russell. Addison Russell 
We'll stand in now with two away, needing to really get something started here. And their chances of getting back into this ball game are growing dimmer by the batter. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Check swing grounder to the right side. And he will apply the tag himself, and the inning is over. Cubs are down in order. They trail big. It's 9-1. to one. Charlie Blackman digs in to lead off the bottom of the Bring eighth inning. The now some action out in the Center bullpen Hilda. as a lefty and a right-hander begin throwing. Oh, and a hearty cut there to begin the at-bat. It's nothing in one. This fastball is looking pretty lively right now. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And a slider. Ho oh, got a favorable call on that one as that's the first out of the inning. Wow, we have seen a very liberal strike zone at times right so far in this game. You figure on 0 and 2, he's going to try to waste one. Is this pitch in the strike zone? Doesn't really look like it to me, but it's not my vote that matters. Here's cargo, Carlos Gonzalez. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. and Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Fowler has a read on it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. The batter, number 28, third baseman, Nolan Arenado. Nolan Arenado is into the box now. He hit one over the wall back in the fifth. First pitch of the at-bat. And they start him out with a slider. Good spot, but he doesn't get the call. 1-0. Two out, nobody on. High and deep to right center field. Back goes Fowler, still going back. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Rockies. But they still hold a commanding 9-1 to one lead. A look there at the Daniels and Fisher Tower here in the Mile High City as we welcome you back to what remains of this one from Coors Field. Dexter Fowler will stand in now to begin their half of the ninth in a game that was decided long, long ago. Dexter, yeah, this is mop-up time out there right now. But hey, these at-bats still count against your batting average, so you can't go up there and just mail it in. You've got to see this through right to the end of the game. First pitch on its way. But this is yanked down out there at shortstop for the first out. That's the hardest hit ball he's had all series. And he's still looking for that first hit, but it didn't work out for him here. Here's Ben Zobris now. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Hit hard to short. Reyes has it. 
And oh, the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he'll reach it first. Well, you've got a big lead out there, so this probably won't be a huge error in the long run. But you've got to be able to finish this game out strong. I mean, here he probably just lets his focus wander for a second, and next thing you know, he's throwing the ball away. Cameron Maven will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Cameron Maven. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball 1 and 0. A lot of late movement on that fastball. That nearly came back to the outer edge. Runner at first here, one man out. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. The 1-1 one, one pitch. And he takes a called strike two. Oh, nothing fancy. Three fastballs so far in this at bat. He can go just about anywhere from here. Now a quick move here to step off and look the runner back. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two and a change up here but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. Now the question, do you send the guy on three and two with one out? You figure you're going to get something around the plate. He's set. Here's the three and two. And he lays off. Ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. Wow, just a great at-bat right there. Simple as that. Patient, laid off some tough pitches. He was rewarded. Miguel Montero gets another crack right here. He's got a hit in three tries to this point. him out with a curveball for a strike. Uh, good pitch right there. Right on the heels of a walk. He needed to get ahead of the next guy and he did just that. On its way the 0 1 pitch. Now a swing and a ball grounded to second. LeMahieu's got it. Reyes. And he'll have to hold on to it there as the takeout slide had him well off balance. Well, this is a pretty smart decision here at second base. He's got that clock running in his head, so he knows he's about to take a shot. So at that point, why risk throwing this ball into the dugout or into the 10th row? He just absorbs the hit, and he hangs on to the baseball. Here's Jason Hayward now as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Runners on first and third, two away. And a good job to lay off the fastball there close, but it's one and one. You got to make sure if you come inside, you come way inside. You leave it out a bit, he's liable to hit that thing in the second deck. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. Oh, man, he must have been looking for something else. That was a curveball that had hit me written all over it, and he couldn't pull the trigger.
Hard hit ball to second. LeMayhew's got it. Throw to first here will be in time for the final out. And the Rockies are going to take a two games to one lead in our series. They take the pivotal game three here at home as the ball game is over. And this save will wind up being the three inning variety. And that's got to be okay with him as he gets the final nine outs to finish off this victory. One more look at the final line score there to see the great pitching performance that led his guys to the victory. Well, guys, as you know, if you're going to pick a time to have a big ball game, you may as well make it happen in the playoffs. And this man right here obviously did. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, no time like the postseason to come through and prove your mettle. I think his performance here was by far the big key to this ball game. So that's a wrap here tonight. Eric Karros, Steve Lyons, Matt Vaskersian, you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Facebook at MLB The Show. The Rockies come out on top 9-1. to one. Good night from Denver.